Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for to episodes 19 and 20 of Twin Star Exorcist. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 19 in 3, 2, 1, go. I honestly don't remember what the hell is going to happen in this episode, like, from the promo. Nope, yeah, I don't remember anything. Mm -mm. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> It's weird to watch this first, but I was like, let me be different today. Let me watch this first. Mm. It's still here. Yeah, but you were playing with them the whole entire time. Oh, that can be arranged. <laughs> and Benio. No. <laughs> See, I don't feel like it's going to be that easy for them to defeat him. Like, we might be seeing this go maybe a three, four-parter episode season series. Like, concluding with the first half of this. Because, I mean, we're very close to the end of the first half. Because I'm guessing we got, like, what, less than five episodes to go once we get to 20. Um, and then after that, however the hell the second half of this show is going to go. But, I mean, because... It's like what I said last week. They could defeat Yuto. Maybe a puppet Yuto this week. But not the actual Yuto. Because something tells me Yuto is one smart, one head step... No, I can't. Mm, one step against them. There you go. One step ahead of them, that too. And has a plan using his a fake version of himself to mess with these two. They kill him, quote unquote. And it's like, no, <laughs> I was still alive all along. Honestly, if that happens, <laughs> I will die. <laughs> Even if it's not really him, I just need Benio to move on from this. Like, th this is her, their struggle, both of them. They need this win, honestly, so that they can become better people from this and evolve from it, but still be a little traumatized from this situation, you know? I mean, he went bam and then hit.
the fact that he just broke those, like... So, of course, that had to be a setup. Seriously, that's it? Oh, that, that's a little too easy. I'm sorry. No, that's bullshit. <laughs> Jesus. Wouldn't you think that would possibly like overtake him if he wasn't using it the right way? I mean, but he's controlling it and that's the one thing, you know, that he's done, thank God, but he was going to block that as well. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't really care. He's just wanting to kick your ass. Possibly maybe even kill you. It wouldn't surprise me if he dies. Go the course, bad guy. Honestly, that was smart. Because the one thing that they're both currently doing is they're kind of becoming a decoy for Yuto. You know, starting with Benio first, then having Rokuro come in and using the residence, and then having Rokuro go first, then Benio come in. It's smart. Almost a little stupid, but smart. Seriously? Yeah, that was probably like him using like 5%. Oh. 
Oh, he not just gonna die like that. I swear to God. Mm -mm. It was a little reckless for you to just go ahead and... and Time out. D no, he did not just do that, did he? No, because in the way she was still on your side. You can't get out of there in time. I'm not even going to accept that as a thank you or anything because he, you know, he ain't being a nice, he an asshole too. We all know that's a lie. But, Hannah, do, do you think he really cares about that? No.
Fucking nuts. You're not going to do what I... No! No, 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 uh-uh. Pleasure my ass. Okay, then if you don't like that, why don't you go kick his ass? <laughs> I'm sorry. Say no to drugs. Say no. 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 But if it's to save Rokuro, then yes. But no. She's going to say yes. I, I know it. I know it. That's the wrong answer. If you truly love him, Benny, you're gonna say yes. You have to. There's no other choice. There's no other way. Basically, but you have to control it. Don't let it overtake you.
girl, that's love. That's light, but that also, that's also love. Because he loves you, even though you two haven't admitted it. Yeah, you love each other. Damn, this feels like the last episode, even though it's not. Mm. so fucking badass oh my god i'm kind of glad that i watched this first oh my god honestly this episode went by really fast but the fact is like number one it is fucked up that yeah yuto would sack her legs the one thing that she needs to fight but having her make a deal this is a this is a pain this is good but this is also a burden at the same time because the fact is she now has to learn to control this. She's going to be just like up there with Benio. This is her step one towards hopefully being good and such and not letting it overtake her. I mean, did I just say Benio? I meant Rokuro. Um, but really, Benio, like, not having this overtake her, but the love that she shares with Rokuro and the love that they have for each other, the supportive cheerful the cheerfulness, that's the word, Deja, cheerleading <laughs> that they have for each other they support each other no matter what ever since the beginning of this even though yes they do have a love-hate relationship but it works for them honestly i'm glad that she took off the um her hair accessories this is her becoming a different person she's not the same benio that we knew for umpteen episodes having those in she's a completely different girl now she has to deal with you know the upbringings and the downside of doing this now and it's going to be you know helpful but a burden at the same time for her but she is going to kick some ass Like, stop it. They're so fucking cute. Like, literally, you can't be ha- We can't be in a life or death situation and these two are flirting. Like, I can't. This too much. Like, oh my god. You thought freaking... <laughs> Tatsuya <laughs> and Mayuri <laughs> for the irregular and Magic High School was bad because those two are bad. They flirt at the most funniest weird moments you'd be like something some shit be going down and then like yes let's just look at each other gaze into each other's eyes and then i eat that crap up because they still fucking cute together and stuff but even though i'm like yeah y'all ain't supposed to be together but like i can't help to ship it because y'all just look so fucking cute like uh but then there's times where you're like oh my god guys really please stop flirting we're gonna die if you don't do anything and that's what these two are doing we're in a life or death situation and they're like yes mm -hmm, let's just flirt you uh, let me let me graze my hand on your cheek and, be, and let me rub my thumb like right there and everything be like okay mm -hmm, let me close my eyes let me look at you all lovey-dovey and ish be like we don't have time for this hello <laughs> But honestly, because they've had, these two, Rokuro and Benio, have had a lot of, like, cute little lovey-dovey kind of, like, mm, <laughs> frenemy love, like, yeah, um, more of enemies to lover moments <laughs> between these two. And honestly, I can't wait 
need to see more of them because it's so fucking cute. I love seeing the, you know, the will they, won't they situation with shows and other things that I've seen. Especially you can see it a lot in this. But honestly, whatever the heck is about to happen next in this, in this next episode, I bet you it's going to be even wilder than what the fuck just happened in this episode. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 20. Okay, episode 20 in 3, 2, 1, go. And I'm guessing this fight with Kamuin is not going to happen until at least maybe 25 or 30. That's the only time you're going to get, like, heart. Love. Honestly, this is going to be good as shit. She needs this. She needs this shit. Like, oh my god. Because she needs to... Honestly, the opening. The opening kind of spoiled that. And I never really looked at it like that. Where it's like, oh yeah, because she has that on her chest. I never thought about anything about that. But now after watching 19, it makes so much sense. But yeah, she needs this. To have a redemption arc. This is like still part one of her redemption arc and stuff. But she really does need this. She needs to kick her brother's ass in order to move on with it. How she could go ahead and kill him if, all, if you need to. Go ahead. But I'm guessing still they're going to do some BS to make sure that he does not die. And they're going to wait until the last episode when they are both OP as fuck. And then that's when he's officially going to die. Probably. She about to go all out on him. She might actually kill him. Oh my god. I mean, maybe not kill him. She might, like, break an arm, some fingers, a foot. Like, yeah, it's what he deserves. There you go. Yeah, don't call him my Simba anymore. Yes! Oh my fucking god, child, what the hell? Oh my god! Mm. 
I mean, it was good for five minutes. Sir, you should be dead. It's bullshit power. Oh my god. Whatever it is, I don't think it's good. Oh! I mean, he summoned something to heal himself and now he okay? Once again, bullshit powers. <laughs> Seriously, you're leaving? Oh, okay, never mind. But he was just toying with you the whole entire time.
Mm. That was just a stretch up. Is he dead dead or is he like fake dead? Oh, oh, there he go. Probably not. We all know that. You did as well. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh my god, stop. Lovable idiots, I can't. That's good. Seems like a hospital. Oh.
Discipline for what, though? Because y'all didn't do anything! It's still so mean though. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm, but there's always a but. <laughs> Is two years even enough time, though? Please tell me we're not having a flash forward to two years from now. <laughs>
I mean, but still, y'all still damn kids. Like, Lord, I can't. Don't be sorry, Benio. So, where did you go? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, oh, No, she likes them. No, she looks so pretty. Honestly, this was good. Even though we are not done with this series, we still got another half to go. Honestly, I would. We're still on the first half. I say by the time we get to episode 20 ha 25, that's the end of the first half. Then we'll go into the second half. But for him to get her new Marantz, and then she's wearing. Oh my god, that's so fucking cute. I mean, that's something that, you know, a boyfriend or a husband would do because he really truly loves his girlfriend or wife. So it's a little subtle things right there here and there. But like two years for them to get strong and if they defeat him they get they're able to have kids. Like <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I just want to know, how the hell is Maida going to become, like, I never would have thought that in the 19 going on 20 episodes, officially as of now, that Maida would have become an exorcist. Yes, she wants to not only protect herself, but also Benio and Rokuro. I get that. Like, every person um, or potential love interest from, like, animes and TV shows and books and movies, um... It's going to do something to want to be like their own individual and independent person because there was a point in time, like in my opinion for Maida, I thought she was just going to be one of those characters was going to be like one and done almost every episode we saw her in when she got an importance. Now with her wanting to become an exorcist, she's going to become really more important to the series, but not as important as Rokuro and Benio because this is their story and such. She's like secondary to them. And so I'm guessing there's not, we're not going to have every episode with her being, you know, a focus or getting somewhat of a focus, but there are going to be moments where she's probably going to be like in the background and that's okay for her to be a little bit of developed into the background and such. But honestly, I'm glad. I, I think she really needs this because after her episode where she felt so weak and she almost died um, and got controlled, but this is her redemption arc. Benio, I'm happy for her. She looks so pretty with her new hair.
her favorites. Like, oh my god, that's so fucking cute. Like, guys, like, you tell me he don't love her, but like, <laughs> that, that is a subtle movement of saying like, yeah, I love you without even saying I love you. There are little things, and I've watched this in like, I think there was like a couple of TV shows that I've watched in the past. It was more like talk shows where there's different ways of showing your love and affection to someone. Um, some people like gifts. Most women usually like gifts or we like to receive, um, ha have our significant others tell us like you love us and it's like that. Sometimes it's affection, whether it is speaking or you hugging them, you kissing on them, whatever and such. But that was a gift one. Like everybody, you know, wants love in a different way and the way that they're gonna get love is completely different from me I might be the type of person who wants gifts and for you to tell me that um you love me or even spending time with me while let's say like I I'm not really currently dating anyone um if I had a boyfriend my boyfriend might want that love to just spend time with him that's how he truly feels love that, that could be the same thing for you, person who's watching this right now. Um, because everybody absorbs their love and affection towards someone in different ways. And you never know what the hell it could be. It, it, it's interesting once you figure it out of what you want and then you tell your significant other, oh, this is how I want you to portray or profound your love to me and it's like that and such. But yeah, it, it's still like the little moments of surprise. Like that's one of the best things. And that's what this was. Like her, him getting those parts for her and her wearing it and then the lights coming up and looking how pretty she is and then boom, it's like, yo, once again, I'm in love with this girl. Like, mm, but I'm not going to tell Banio that I'm in love with her yet because of course, Mm, it's that time <laughs> the story says no 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 they get little subtle hints and then we're gonna say i love you but not yet but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes 19 and 20 of twin stars exorcist if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for patreons and next thursday for everybody else for episodes 21 and 22 bye guys